let's talk about the issue of the day. Putting my tablet back here. Uh, I want to have at least one good topic that we talk about in every single one of these episodes. And today's topic is not going to come directly from a specific email. It's going to come from probably 350 emails I've gotten in the last few months. This is the most common question I get everywhere. Comments, Facebook, email, and that is, how many African cichlids can I put in my tank? Now, this is a very simple question to answer, but it can also get kind of complex. Redskins cup, you like that? All right. I use a very simple equation when it comes to determining how many African cichlids you can put in your tank. It's very simple. There's going to be people that will probably argue with this, but if you use this as your baseline, it makes sense. Take the gallons in your tank, divide it by two, and you have your answer. Now, let's use a 55-gallon tank as an example. Actually, let's make the numbers easier so we don't have to do 22 and a half. Let's do a 60-gallon tank. I've never had a 60-gallon tank, but I'm sure they're out there. 60 gallons, what would that mean? You can put 30 of them in your tank. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? Well, it is a lot, and that would be to heavily stock your tank. Now, we all know that the best way to curb aggression in your African cichlid tank is to flood it full of fish. What does this do? It creates more maintenance. You've got to do water changes two, three times a week. It's part of the deal. But that's the best way to get the absolute most stunning African cichlid tank is to have a whole bunch of them in there. And if you use this equation of dividing your gallons by two and that gives you your number, that's on the high side of what you can stock your tank with. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that if you have a 60 gallon aquarium, you can put 30 Venustas in there or 30 Fuscos or Buconotos or, or any of those that get really big. You're not going to want to do that, but you, you want to use this as kind of your base guideline. 20 or excuse me, 30 Mbunas in a 60 gallon tank? Sure. Absolutely, you can get the, you can you can do that. 30 peacocks? Mm, might be pushing it a little bit. 30 haps. Things like I was talking about before, Venustus, things that get really big, you're not going to want 30 in there. Maybe you should count those as two. That makes sense, doesn't it? You got a Venustus, count that as two towards your stock. A Fusco, which can get like 13 inches. They can get massive. Frontosas, some of the Frontosas can get huge. It might take them five years to get there, but they can get huge. You're not going to want 30 Frontosas in a 60-gallon tank, although... That would look pretty nice. So that's kind of your base guideline. Divide your tank in half, there you go. But then consider what kind of fish you're putting in there. You don't want to put 30 big fish in your 60 gallon tank. So maybe count Mbunas as one, Peacocks as one and a half, and some of your bigger haps as two. Did that confuse you? It shouldn't. It's pretty simple. Count your big haps as two fish. So if your first fish that you pick out is a Venustus, fine. You got room for 28 more. Doesn't that make sense? It's pretty simple. But again, the biggest thing to talk about here is that African cichlids do better in large numbers. It's because there creates so much chaos in the tank that they don't have time to really sit around and think about wanting to beat each other up they might chase each other around and nip at each other a little bit, but you shouldn't really see a whole lot of damage if you have your tank heavily stocked. We all know that. You, you can't be in the African cichlid hobby for too long before you're told that. You may go into a pet store and you get told that, oh, you should fill your fi tank full of fish. You might think that your local pet store is just trying to sell you a lot of fish, but they're right. They are absolutely right. Stock it heavy so that it keeps aggression down, but of course, that's going to increase your maintenance and you're going to have to be on your a-game if you're someone who likes to have an aquarium in the corner but you're not really an aquarium hobbyist first of all i don't know why i'm talking to you because you're probably not watching this video but if you're somebody who just likes to have a tank in the corner and you don't really want to be bothered with the maintenance don't do this don't stock your tank heavy because it's just going to be a big mud puddle 
But if you're watching this video, more than likely you are serious about this. You're probably watching this because you're into African cichlids, because 90% of my videos are about African cichlids. Stock your tank heavy. That's the best way to curb aggression. That's the best way to keep everybody happy. And there you go. But understand that you're going to have to be on your A-game when it comes to your maintenance. You're going to have to keep that water clean. Because, yeah, the aggression is going to be, you know, lower when you increase the, uh, the volume of fish in your tank. But they're not going to be happy if they're swimming around in dirty water because they've been pooping and eating in, all, in this water the whole time and you're not doing your maintenance. So keep up with your maintenance, absolutely. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Like I said, to keep it simple, go by the guideline of dividing your tank in half. If you have a 55, you can have 22. That would be on the high side, again, but that you can have 22. I know 55 divided by 2 is 22 and a half, but I'm saying round it down, you're safer that way. 22 of them. 125 gallon tank, just say 60. Got it? All right. So to answer your question before you ask me, yes, I would love to have 120 fish in my 240. We're not even close to that now. I think we've got less than 40 in there. It's embarrassing. We got a whole bunch of them coming in tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. Definitely show you those. So anyway, this video is getting too long. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please go on the website. Last week we had a huge spike on the website when uh, after doing these videos. That's cool. That means you're, you're, you're trying to help me out here, and I appreciate it. Go on the website, www.kgtropicals.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at KG Tropicals, Instagram, KG underscore Tropicals. That's where a lot of the photos for the photo contest have come from. Really excited about that. Uh, Facebook.com backslash KG Tropicals. You know it all. Don't forget to do that. Please help support us. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get next week's episode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.